right, so it all comes down to this, ladies and gentlemen, as we set our eyes on the number one light heavyweight contender, Daniel. I often say the greatest part of this job for you and me is seeing a non-champion break through and strike UFC gold for the first time. Yeah, it's the best. It's the best. Because you watch these athletes over the course of the fight week try to wrap their mind around how big of a chance they have. And then when you get to Saturday night, you can see it on their face. They're just thinking about what life looks like after. If I get it done, how does my life change? Tonight he has an opportunity to change everything in regards to his life. And his fight week has been exceptional. It was a great weight cut, very forthcoming in our fighter meeting. All eyes on the number one 205 pound contender here tonight. Here's a man who needs no introduction, the undisputed UFC light heavyweight champion and one of the best pound-for-pound -pound fighters in the world, trying to hold up his end of the bargain and lead the way he came in as the champion of the world. He's an absolute star. John, that belt defines him. That belt is who he is now. He recognized that the moment he became the champion, his life changed. He loves it. He loves being the best in the world. He loves ruling atop this very difficult division and he intends to keep it that way for a very long time. He did say to us in the fighter meeting on the record this may be his most difficult title defense to date. As such, he's put in all the right work. We'll see if he can remain the hunted here at 205 pounds. One of the best in the business, Fury Prohaska. Steps inside the octagon and is ready to fight. All right, now let's get you our tail of the tape for this light heavyweight championship fight. We set it inside the octagon. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. Herb Dean, third Good. party in the octagon Good. tonight. Good. All right, early round action here, and perhaps at times Alexander Rakic has been a victim of expectation. A lot of people felt like he was destined for UFC greatness from the moment he touched down on the proven ground. Injuries have been part of the narrative, but he is healthy. The knee is ready to go here tonight, and Rakic is ready to resume his ascent. Well, you can spot that wide base, that stance of Yuri Prohaska from a mile away. His opponent didn't see that right hand coming. Yeah, that right hand is, is tremendous from Yuri Prohaska. But that right hand starts with that wide base, with his ability to draw your mistake, and then he always capitalizes on it. Oh, nice. Misses again with a right punch. Nice shot there by the champ. He's got some hands, man. Just over three minutes to go. Let's go. Oh, nice job to get the guard up there as the strike is blocked by Rockage. Good for an uppercut for him there. Take 
take another shot like that. That one was thrown to end the fight. Yeah. <laughs> Connects with a beautiful jab. Slip the punch. Oh! Oh! Come on, Keep your hands up. Let's go. Under 90 seconds to go, round one. Throwing that jab, no good. Looking to establish the jab here. Nicely done by Rockage. Yeah. Under a minute to go in our opening round. Back and forth we go. Well, defense doesn't necessarily win championships in MMA, but he's doing a nice job blocking these shots. He's not allowing his opponent to get any damage off on him by blocking all these attacks. Especially from a striking standpoint, DC, take us through. High-level striking. I mean, this is what people come through the doors to see. Two men stand on a quarter, chest to chest, forehead to forehead, and let it all fly. I'm surprised nobody went out, but it does excite me for the next round. You ready to fight? You ready? All right, round two. Next round is now underway. Hopefully the action continues at a high level. Pretty good first five minutes. Pretty good first five minutes. Both of them can really pick it up. Let's see who decides they're going to lead the dance as we go forward. Oh, oh man, he's hurt. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. All right, so that opened up a cut around his eye area. He hasn't moved his head well. He was taking shots too clean. And now a cut is opened up. Caught that kick there. I need more out of you. Just a slip there. What a beautiful jab landing there. Prohaska's kick is blocked. Just over three minutes now to go in round two. Nice. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. Try to establish that jab. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Keep your hands up for me. Come on now. Let's move. Let's make it move. Good kick. Ball oh, left hook to the head is blocked. He's almost done. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, you don't know whether to run, hide, grab, or wrestle. He's, a, he, I mean, he's confused. He's as confused as he was on his first test in elementary school. Under a minute now to go. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. He gets back up. The question is for how long? Big head kick. Let's go, let's go. Don't wait. First. That's a real 
really strong leg kick there by Rockage. Oh, bleeding from his cheek now. That can't feel good. Round three next. Stop, stop, stop. All right, so the round is over, but not before damage was done. Cut on the cheek, sustained in that round. Cut man in there quickly as usual to try to seal it up. This round, we're going to get it back. All right, let's check out some of the action DC, and how about the punching acumen by that fighter in that previous round? He does not waste anything. He does not loop punches. Everything's tight. Everything's precise. He's a sniper. We always talk about how he's a sniper. He is a sniper, and it showed in that exchange that allowed him to drop his opponent. Ready to fight? Ready. Let's do it. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Tries the flying knee to no avail. is about done. He's got to hurt very bad. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. And now a left. All right, well, he rocked him pretty good, but didn't sort of smell blood in the water. This is his only pay to be in the building. Back and forth we go. Oh, my goodness. What a fight. A Just over three minutes to go in round three. Oh, he's landed a high number of total strikes here in the latter stages of this fight. He's really picked up the pace and landing far more strikes than he did in previous rounds. Push kick there to the body. Rockich's uppercut is blocked. Oh, man, look how quickly he gets that foot to the target. Well, he misses with the left punch there. Slips the punch. And now Leather being thrown on both sides. Oh, another one. Big shot on the feet. Back to the feet. Oh, right hand. One minute now to go in the third. Looking for that left hand, just missed. Oh, inside kick. Ten seconds. All right, three rounds down, potentially two more to go. We are headed to the championship round. All right, good news is the round is over. Bad news, Prohaska's got a cut to deal with above the eye, or perhaps better put, the cut man has got to deal with it. We'll see if he can stop the bleeding. All right, so a big knockdown for him, courtesy of that punch in that round. DC, here's your replay. Big moment in the previous round. They were both fighting very well, but when he landed this punch right here that sits his opponent down, it showed that the power is not equal, and if he can land, he does have the ability to damage it. You ready to fight? You ready? Fourth round, fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. 
All right, so here we go with our fourth round of a possible five. And a lot of fighters change up their training camp when they're fighting five rounds versus three. Yeah, you got to change it up. You have to mix things up because fighting for an extra 10 minutes is not normal. Guys don't do this normally. It's a 15-minute fight. So you have to do things physically and also mentally to make sure that you're ready to go that extra 10 minutes. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Slips the punch nicely there. Well, he's looking for that left hand. Just out of range, though, with it. Prohaska's able to switch his stance here. We'll see how the defense responds. there with the lead leg. Nice work by Rockage. Lands another one of those beautiful leg kicks. All right, seems as though his sole focus is attacking that cut. And man, it's getting bad now. A lot of blood flowing. Yeah, as it should be. Right? He should be focused on getting to that cut. Making his opponent pay. Oh, a huge shot. Finds the target there. Great shot lands. Now he's got to go find that follow-up attempt. The kill shot is what they call it to go and end the fight. Big inside kick. Under two minutes to go in the round. Prohaska's body getting bruised up on that right side now. Don't want to take too many more shots to that midsection. Rockage is a strike attempt there as well. Oh! oh, another one. All right, time to hit the Sunoco seat. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, big left. Man, looks like he's trying to set records here, landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to a fault and really has been all night long as he continues to pour it on. Got to be careful here, though, not to gas out. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. He's very close to the finish here. Let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. And once he got to the top, he started to land brutal ground and pound until the fight was called off. Just a dominant performance from the top position. Bruce Buffer now with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 58 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout. And new undisputed USC light heavyweight champion of the world, Alexander Walker. Well, DC, I don't know if you agree, but for me, there are a few things as exciting in this sport as when we crown a new...